Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is a highly requested one ever since I started Instagram. Everyone has always been asking me what is the best way to do the hijab bun or how to achieve even um, volume in the back. And um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I just found it difficult because I can't demonstrate it on myself. So I've been trying to coordinate a good time to do it with someone that doesn't wear a hijab. And I finally had the chance to with one of my friends. Um, so you guys will be seeing a voiceover after this clip of how I do my bun in the back. Since it is a voiceover, I wanted to show you guys the items that I'm using first so that you have an idea. I will of course link everything down in the description bar below so you can have all the info to look back on there. Everything that I mentioned from hijabs to undercaps to scrunchies, etc. are all from Culture Hijab. Um, they are one of my favorite brands to shop at, especially for hijab essentials. They have everything from printed chiffons all the way to satin, um, non-slip hijabs, so you can find a whole bunch of items there that I'm sure you'll fall in love with. Okay, so the first item that I used on my model is a undercap, and it is a nude colored undercap, neutral toned. Um, and it looks like this. I'm not sure if you guys will notice this, but this undercap is a lot longer than a regular undercap. And the reason why I like this is because you want as much coverage in the back, especially when wearing chiffons, you want it to cover your hair completely. And not everyone has short hair. I know a lot of you girls have long hair. So you want to be able to have as much coverage so that if your hijab happens to be see-through, at least you'll know that your hair is not going to be showing. Um, so this one is from Culture hijab and it comes in several colors you guys can check out their under cap section they have so many different colors and types they even have the crisscross ones they have um, ribbed ones which I'm gonna show you in a second but yeah these are super essential to be able to achieve a proper bun in the back and as well um, keep your hijab in place all day so make sure you get one of these. Um, I prefer this one specifically just because of the length and it's very, very stretchy and comfortable. Um, so this is a great find. The next undercap that I used on my model um, was a ribbed undercap and it looks like this. Um, it has a bit of like a ribbed texture going on and this is nice to add a little bit of a different touch to your hijabs. Um, it also has more texture. So with hijabs that tend to slip around more, this is a great option. Um, they also have matching hijabs, uh, rectangular hijabs that go with this. So you can definitely like mix and match or you can match it with the hijab that goes with it to create a look that looks cohesive. So definitely check those out if you like that um, cohesive type of look where everything is the same color and same material. It really is a very clean and really nice look to go for. In the clips that you're gonna see next, you'll also see me use a scrunchie. Um, so you can use any scrunchie you want. You can use no scrunchie if you want as well, if you find that your hair has enough volume. But for someone that um, either has short hair or has um, hair that doesn't stay in place, that tends to flop downwards, it's nice to add a bit of structure to the back because essentially your bun is what holds your hijab in place um, because the weight of the hijab lands on the back right there. And if your bun is like really low or flimsy, your hijab is going to start sliding back regardless. So having a um, scrunchie that has a bit of volume is really nice. This one's also from Culture Hijab. I call it a noodle scrunchie, but it's just a volumizing scrunchie. Um, and the nice thing about it is that you can literally pack it into your under cap and like make it really, really small and compact as much as you would like it to. You can also leave it um, out so it just depends on how much volume you want in the back. I'm not really a huge fan of like extreme volume So I tend to really scrunch it into my bun and have it at a size that I'm comfortable with So this is really really helpful if you need that extra volume in the back I will also show you guys um, in the clips coming up how to achieve a bun without the scrunchie So if you don't have one don't worry I will be showing you guys how to do it without one But it all depends on your hair type if you have curly hair, for example, or textured hair, you can most likely achieve a bun um, without using any 
extra volume but if you do have soft thin silky hair um, you might want to consider adding uh, a scrunchie in there as well um, and if you guys are wondering what hijab I'm using on my model I am using a culture hijab chiffon and this is what it looks like it's a beautiful earth toned brown it's really really nice the texture is perfect it doesn't slip out of place which is awesome um, so yeah, I found it really easy to style my model and that's the one that I used in the video Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys to watch the tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions or if anything is unclear in the tutorial Please leave your questions down below. I'll be sure to answer them um, And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Okay, so I started off by putting my model's hair in a bun near the middle of her head. I then apply the volumizing scrunchie right on top. It should fit nice and snug. Then you'll see me putting on the undercap and stuffing in the bun and the scrunchie right into the back of the undercap. Now I'm going to pause the video right here because this is the secret step to achieving the perfect bun that will stay in place all day long. Feel free to rewind this clip as many times as you need to to really nail this important step. You're going to take the bottom hanging bit of the undercap and stuff it in between the bun and the elastic of the volumizing scrunchie. This will secure your hair in place all day long because you are basically closing the opening and securing everything in place. Now I'm just styling the hijab so that you guys get a better idea of what the bun looks like. After you put your hijab on, just use a mirror to see what the bun looks like in the back and push it around until the volume is even and not pointy at all. So you'll see me adjusting it a little bit here and playing around with the volume until I like the way it looks. I'm going to also show you how to achieve a lower bun with a volumizing scrunchie. I know not everyone likes a high bun with a scrunchie, so for this one, you're going to have to tie your hair lower near the back of your neck. Similar to before, you'll place the scrunchie right on top of the bun. Then place the undercap on and stuff the bun and scrunchie inside the back of the undercap. And of course, the next step is to do the secret step that I mentioned earlier to secure everything in place. I'm just taking the bottom bit of the undercap and tucking it in between the top of the bun and the scrunchie elastic. Again, I'm just styling the hijab so you guys can see what the bun looks like. Once you have your hijab on, it sits pretty low, but it still has a really nice amount of volume, making it even all the way around. The last style that I'm showing you is a bun without a volumizing scrunchie just in case you don't have one or simply don't like it. You're going to tie your hair in a bun and try to volumize it as much as possible by fluffing it around. You can make it as high or as low as you want it. Then you can place the undercap on top and tuck in all the hair in the back of the cap. You can also secure this step with a pin if you want to close the bun. Now I'm just styling the hijab again to show you what it looks like. For this style, you want to play around with the bun by gently pushing your hair around until it doesn't look as pointy anymore. Just because there is no volumizing scrunchie, so you really got to play around with the volume in the back until it's really even. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it really helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!